So since the last episode, there's been a lot of tagging. I just showed up, there's a bunch of new tags, but nobody's really messed with all of our supplies. Our mortar is still there, our bonding adhesive is still here. They hit up our piece of wood, which I really don't have a problem with. They're leaving all of our ski obstacles alone, so I don't have any problem with them. It's pretty cool. In this episode, I really want to put some hips on this quarter pipe. I want to fix up the bottom. I want to do a bunch of different things, but first things first, I'm going to add some sealant to the top, the lip, so that hopefully it can withstand a little more abuse from the skateboard. And I had this sealant at home. This isn't like specifically for this spot. I just had some left over. I needed it to go somewhere, put it to use. So I'm going to use this stuff first, and then I'm probably going to add some more things later. But first thing is just to clean up the lip, add this sealant, and then we'll take it from there. this isn't really a sealant per se it's just enamel but I'm kind of using it as a sealant I'm gonna let this dry give it a couple more minutes and then do one more coat then we're gonna go pick up some more concrete and get to the hips I kind of hyper extended my knee the other day trying to board slide campsites backyard so unfortunately I can't scare it now but the upside is I have the spot to work on we're back, it's the next day. It looks like somebody came and just like ran a muck around the spot. I don't know really what's going on, but someone did put a bat in the bag of concrete in our mortar. They came back today to fix up the transition. That's what it's going to do. Just looks like someone's like scrummaging through our stuff, but they didn't take anything. They just like placed the wood in like weird places back here and like moved around some things, but the spot's not messed with. Nobody's really messing with the actual infrastructure of the spot. Everything's all good and nobody's taking any of our supplies. This is really cool. I think maybe it's kids, maybe it's just people having fun. It's all good, they're just moving things around. So today I wanna to fix the bottom of the transition. First thing I need to do is kind of a clean up shop and then start cutting in to the current transition so that we can marry everything together. Now you can see on this side, the transition's pretty nice right here. It's pretty clean, but as you get over there, there's a bump and then it kind of gets more banked over there. So what I'm gonna to try to do is sort of cut into it right around here and then add more transition. This is going to be a very trial and error. Before we go on too far into this episode, I do want to say thanks to everyone that donated through the super thanks button down below underneath the video in the last episode. You all roll. I want to give a quick acknowledgement to you because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be as motivated to keep going at this spot. Big shout out, Maximizing Life, John Autry, John Henry, Nico Cordova, Ball Choi, Maximilian, Mosea, Don, Gummer Galvin, Mayu Z, Darkwater Black, Yokio Hunterland, Jonathan Hughes, Ollie Boy, and Intran. I appreciate all of you for all your super thanks. Super, super helpful for getting supplies for this spot. So let's continue.
we got all the patchwork nice and dry. My lens is nice and dirty too. It's the next day, I got Al with me. It's the weekend, it's pour day. We're hyped, we're gonna work on the hips. First thing is first, probably take down our wood forms from the original quarter pipe that we built in the last episode. Move some of these rocks. I'm actually gonna fill some of the cracks with the, some concrete repair using our caulking gun. I'll show you how to do that quickly. And then, uh, yeah, it's build out the hip time. Super excited. It's not too hot today, but uh, it's definitely, sun is directly on us. And one thing I thought about this is like, the sun was gonna go up and over in this corridor, but it actually just like gradually opens more and more. It's kind of weird. It's like an optical illusion inside of here. We're gonna put some bearings in the concrete today too. We're gonna cover some skate bearings in the spot. Yeah, it's just these screws right here, basically, and then we just gotta shimmy it off. Uh, I think there's a brown clue right there. Big out, takes down the spidey. Woo! Yeah, that's all pretty easy. Wow, look at all that concrete. But well, that's cool. Wow. Taking, taking the spot out is gonna be really hard. This stuff will help us kind of fill some of these cracks down here. Spider has like a bunch of babies. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> definitely got that on camera. So Al's adding some more rocks right here so that they can be filler for our hip. So basically, in order to kind of form this hip out, what we're gonna do is take this little two by four scrap wood, line it up with where we want it. We were just talking about like whether we want a real big wide hip with a bigger deck or a smaller deck and a nice tight hip, which I think is what we're gonna do. So basically I'm gonna kind of freestyle, draw a little line right here, cut this out, do the same thing on that side and trying to just wedge it in between the wall and our current quarter pipe. And then we'll just add all the filler. Hopefully that's what we'll do. Basically, we got a wood cut. It kind of is just gonna float here, but we're gonna get rocks to kind of get it all stable. And we use the rocks as filler and sort of support for that. It's a very freestyle. Woo! Nice, de awesome. nice delivery. have this rock on top of our form holding into place I'll probably have one more rock but the idea is we can just kind of slosh our concrete right onto there I think I'm just gonna get a couple more small rocks to kind of pack everything together gives us our shape right there. Kind of see how it's gonna go. We're gonna taper it in. You see, we're gonna still freestyle, but sort of trying to set ourselves up for success. All right, from here, we got all of our filler in there. Basically gonna start mixing some concrete, slap it on there. We're gonna add our concrete adhesive as well. Got the ground all chipped out. This is gonna be freestyle. I've never done a hip. Wish us luck.
It's like more mortar than concrete for this top because kind of just trying to blend these seams. Kind of keeps falling off our form. Pretty DIY. Now that our hips are nice and dry, I gotta add the decks. It's a solo day. I got two bags of concrete and some mortar. Hopefully I can get all the decks done. I do have to address the elephant in the room. Some of you noticed in the last video, halfway through the video, the walls no longer had tags. The city came down here and painted it and they didn't mess with the spot. That was super cool. I didn't really address it because uh, there, it, was a, it was a complicated situation, but now as you see, there's the tags are continuing and they're, they're everywhere and they're not very, good tags like I don't have a problem with taggers or anything like that but now that we're at this point I know the city or whoever comes down here to paint it is going to come down soon so I have to either paint it myself and just risk the taggers getting bummed or people getting bummed or risk the city being like that's my job security and if it's painted then who did it I don't know but uh, yeah I think I'm going to paint it that'll be the next step but today I'm just going to fill in our deck so that we can get everything nice and skatable.
fine, but man, struggling with this board, it's like so soft. His tail is so spongy, like even throwing it down, it's like bouncing right now. So I'm probably gonna wrap it up here with this session, although I'm really happy with it. So hopefully you can see some of the perks and some of the like kind of bonuses and some of the reasons why you'd want to add more training down below. That's what I did. I was able to rock fakie. I wasn't able to rock fakie before, Jackie. I wasn't able to do that before. And it's still steep, like it's still gnarly. It's like a shallow end pool. So you still have that like DIY gnarly aspect to it, but it's still a little bit easier. So sometimes you gotta do that really fun. I gotta get to work. And I'm gonna show up all sweaty. Gonna wrap it up for the second episode of building this DIY skate spot. There's more to come. We're already working on the next spot, so hopefully the gap in between the next episode won't be as long. But I appreciate everyone that does super things or donates in any shape, way, or form, smashes that like button, subscribes, or anything like that and supports the channel. I appreciate all of you. We'll see you soon building the next spot. Mash.